Hey, this is Mike Current, Energizer, and I will be through hiking the Appalachian Trail starting at Springer Mountain on 1 May. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover my favorite piece of gear, my Tyvek ground sheet. So let's do this. So look, I, I know a lot of people don't carry uh, a ground sheet, that, that's up to them. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to be going through why it is my favorite piece of gear. So the first thing that uh, I need to do is explain how I determine what my favorite piece of gear uh, is, what formula do I use, and then calculate that going through my ground sheet. Uh, so the formula I use to determine my favorite piece of gear is FV equals CV over PW or favorite piece of gear equals its criticality and its versatility over its price and weight. Now, let's look at how then the ground sheet calculates into that formula. First off, criticality. Well, let's face it, a ground sheet is not a critical piece of gear. Like I said, some people choose not to even carry one. But, as I will show in this video, it does protect a couple of my critical items. And so, although it is not primary critical in of itself, it has a secondary criticality in that it protects some of my critical systems. Versatility, it is the most versatile piece of equipment that I carry in my rucksack, and that's what the majority of this video will be about, is the versatility of this one piece of equipment. For me, my ground sheet has five important functions that it does while I'm on a through hike. The first thing, of course, it serves as a ground sheet for my tent. I own a uh, Z-Pax duplex tent, uh, very happy with the tent, but it cost $650, by far the most expensive piece of equipment that I will be carrying on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, when I was doing the Pacific Crest Trail, I did a lot of research on tents, and it seems where tents typically fail is on the bottom. Uh, things just start to ruin uh, the bottom of the tent. And I did not want that happening to my Z-Plex duplex. Now, I know some people will say, well, if, if mine gets a tear in it or a cut in it, uh, I'll just repair it. I've got a repair kit or I'll piece, use a piece of duct tape. Well, it's, it's not that simple. What happens is across the bottom of the tent you get dozens of abrasions over time so over time the bottom of a tent turns into swiss cheese so you simply can't repair just one spot it's the entire bottom so either you replace the entire bottom which can be cost prohibitive of itself or you use a ground sheet the ground sheet i used for the Pacific Crest Trail, that was the original intent, protect the, uh, protect the tent, and it worked beautifully. I mean, my Tyvek ground sheet that I used on the PCT is just trashed. Um, there's not much left of it. Uh, but it was only $15. Whereas my Z-Plex duplex tent that I paid $650 for, it's in light new condition. To include the bottom of it, I can use it easily on my through hike of the Appalachian Trail. So it did its function. So that was the first use of the ground sheet. Protect my tent, work great. The second use of my ground sheet was that on the Pacific Crest Trail, I thought maybe I would do a lot of cowboy camping go out and just kind of throw stuff down, 
I wouldn't have to worry about breaking the tent out. I would just throw down my ground sheet. I would put my um, Neo X Lite air mattress on top of it and I'd be good to go. Uh, I wound up not doing a lot of cowboy camping. I just didn't, didn't care for it. Um, but for the few times I did, uh, it worked really well. And for all the times that people talk about getting holes in their air mattress, uh, my air mattress is fine. So again, the Tyvek ground sheet kept all the twigs and, and stuff away on the little gravel and all that away from my air mattress and it protected my air mattress and it continues to work fine uh, today. Now on the Appalachian Trail, kind of carry that theme over, uh, I will probably be camping in shelters and shelters have the, the wood with the rough surfaces on it and splinters and it will protect my air mattress, the, the ground sheet will protect my air mattress from that. Now I know some people will say, hey, well, I can just use my tent. I can just throw down my tent and use the tarp. And yes, you can, uh, nothing wrong with that, except the tent isn't designed to do that. So again, you would put unnecessary wear and tear on something, and again, my tent's pretty expensive, so I'd rather not put unnecessary wear and tear on it. I'd rather use the $15 ground sheet. So that's what I intend to use it for, for the second one, is any cowboy camping I might do on the Appalachian Trail, or certainly any time that I uh, spend time in a shelter, I'll lay that down. So that's the second use. So the third use for my ground sheet is I use it as my butt pad. Now this is something I learned as I was hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. I didn't realize this I was going through, but uh, throughout the PCT, I had the privilege of hiking with some really good hikers, uh, triple crowners, and then and one guy that was, he was on his fourth through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail. So, so the rest of what I'm about to tell you about the versatility of a ground sheet I didn't know when I started the PCT, I just learned it from hikers that were far more experienced than me. And one of the uses, or the third use for me, is to use it as a butt pad. Get rid of the butt pad, just set it down, it's always on the outside pocket, set it down whenever I'm going to be sitting down. And as one of the through hikers that I hiked with up in Washington told me, he said, hey Mike, if you're going to spend the time to sit down during a break, he said, just totally lay down. Just lay out the ground sheet and go into the prone position and spend 10 minutes just allowing the body to totally relax. And I did, I tried that and it worked great. So not only is it a butt pad, it's a rest pad. And related to that, uh, sometimes when you get to an area and you just want to sit down and have lunch and you want to just lay out your food and not worry about it getting all over in the dirt, you lay it out and it's your picnic blanket. So it becomes your butt pad, your rest pad, and your picnic blanket. Lay out your food, enjoy it, enjoy that time. So that's the third function of my ground sheet. Fourth function of the ground sheet. One of the concerns I had about hiking the Appalachian Trail is I have really lightweight uh, rain gear. Uh, it's the stuff by v, uh, z -Packs, the Virtus uh, rain gear. Uh, it's incredibly uh, well made. Um, but it's also lightweight and I am worried that during the Appalachian Trail during the heavy rain days that my rain gear like most rain gear eventually wets out and I was concerned about that and so do I carry other rain equipment or heavier rain gear what do I do so what I did is for my ground sheet I converted it to a makeshift poncho. So I put that poncho over me, have my rain 
gear underneath that have the poncho ground sheet poncho over that it re reflects most of the rain and then what does get through my normal virtus rain gear takes care of so now i don't have to carry extra heavy rain equipment um, and i don't have to carry something else i already have have the ground sheet it's going to do that job for me so that's the fourth important function of my ground sheet and now the fifth function of the ground sheet and again this is something i learned from another uh through hiker triple crowner uh at that and that is uh, i did very little hitchhiking while i was on the pacific crest trail uh, i only did it four times i just walked and count um, but on the appalachian trail just the nature of the trail how it is that sort of thing i think i'm going to be doing more hitchhiking and so i converted my ground sheet into a hitchhiking sign to make it easier for people going by to be able to see my intent now i know some people will say well you know especially if you're a young female uh will say well my my thumb worked just fine and and i'm sure it would it would work you know just fine um most of the time but as a older male i'm trying to give myself the best chance i can of getting a uh get, getting a ride and i've already have the ground sheet it's white it doesn't take anything to put some letters on it in permanent marker i mean if you owned a business in town and you had a free billboard all you had to do is paint it and say use my business i mean wouldn't you do that so yes i turned my ground sheet into a sign that will help individuals driving by know that a i'm an appalachian trail through hiker i'm just not a bum on the side of the road and what i want is either a ride to town or i want to ride to the trail and that's all and so that is the fifth function for my ground sheet uh, cv criticality and versatility over price and weight well criticality two secondary systems saved versatility the most versatile piece of equipment in my rucksack and then price like i've said it's only 15 dollars. it's one of the least expensive things in the ruck and then weight it's five ounces and because I'm carrying it I don't have to carry a butt pad and I don't have to carry uh, heavier rain gear so as far as weights concerned it pays for itself so that's why my Tyvek ground sheet is my favorite piece of gear in the rucksack uh, like I said I'm gonna be through hiking the Appalachian Trail starting on 1 May from Springer Mountain uh, it's going to be a great journey. I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, if you're enjoying my videos, then go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll continue to take this journey together. It's going to be great.